All right. Hello again, adventurers, and welcome to another. And I'm going to move this slightly so I'm a little closer. Uh, welcome to another exciting episode of Traversing the Veil. Yes, this is one of my custom d, &D campaigns set in my screwed up world. Uh, and in this particular instance, on my crazy Nope Nope Island. Mm -hmm. uh, so, that's a thing. Uh, and the people below me uh, are the people um, that uh, have been questioning uh, their life choices for a little while now. Mm -hmm. uh, so, uh, yeah. Uh, quick mention uh, before we get too far into the, the, this. Uh, uh, an amazingly wonderful good friend of mine named Kikikiri Callaghan uh, is a published author and is now uh, another published author because <laughs> the sequel to the book that, 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 that uh, uh, Imp is showing uh, on screen right now, Alice, mm. uh, the sequel, which is called uh, uh, Changeling, uh, is officially available uh, uh, in stores. It was in pre-order for the last two weeks. Uh, it's now officially um, available. Uh, my copy shipped today. Uh, so uh, please, uh, if you haven't gotten it already, uh, uh, pick it up. Uh, KiriCalligan.com slash changeling. Or even just go to KiriCalligan.com. It'll, it'll come up. Yeah. I'm going to uh, put that link into the chat. Two L's. Uh, yes, thank you. That's what I meant. I was I was making sure you guys didn't knew that that's what it was. There we go. Let's try that. Ten points to Ravenclaw. Woo! I totally didn't uh, spell it right. All right, I'm gonna actually find the link. I realize it's a little annoying for for, for you guys, uh, but Kiri, uh, this is such a huge deal uh, for 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 Kiri. Uh, and so I want to actually have the link in my chat. There we go. And that will actually take you. So yeah, please go to order the book. Uh, I literally just finished Alice, uh, like a day or two ago. Uh, it is by far one of the most phenomenal books I've ever read. It deals with some really, really touchy subjects, subjects that I have, uh, direct personal, uh, experience with. Uh, uh, things uh, like depression uh, and uh, suicide and other things like that. Like it's a it's a heavy book, uh, but it deals with them in such a beautiful and amazing w -w -w way. Um, and uh, it incorporates elements uh, uh, of um, uh, through the looking glass um, and. Uh, Lewis Carroll's work, so it's it's kind of Curie's take on that world, uh, and the way that she kind of combines the elements of absurdism that's kind of built into Carroll's work in general, uh, and like this this kind of very interesting kind of mid fantasy, like I wouldn't call it high fantasy, but I also wouldn't call it low fantasy uh, world. Uh, that she creates uh, is just absolutely b b brilliant. So, please pick up. You, go ahead. I was gonna say, and if you join us uh, for, on the 18th over on Curie Callaghan's channel on Curiosity, uh, we'll there's gonna be a streamathon, uh, part of which we'll be discussing the book. So, yeah, do it. It's awesome. She's a wonderful p p person, and she is a, a phenomenally t -t talented author. So. Anyway, uh, I uh, uh, I really I I had to talk about that because it's I was. If so you were, I was gonna. Um, Signal booster, friends. Otherwise, uh, I think it's about time for us to return to traversing the veil.
the party has discovered more than they ever could have anticipated is going on in this strange idolized of a village they found themselves in. Spelunking b -b -b beneath their temple, they found rooms that have strange torturous devices in them, even stranger rooms with magical uh, devices meant to learn and interpret the data and probably the biggest is a surprise they are beneath the veil and yet not dying not corroding as they have been led to believe happens to anything beneath the veil not yet going back into there they were able to discover part of the captain's previous crew that has somehow been changed into strange hybrid c -c creatures and now they need to f f figure out what they're going to do, 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 do if they can save their allies So, worst B and B ever. You know, I mean, it's a bad B and B. Kevin, yeah, you're muted. I, I wouldn't call. say worst B and B, 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 B. I mean, you haven't had that really annoying wake up call that you didn't ask for, <clears throat> where they come up and like, oh, excuse me, and then they just barge in and like, oh, I just wanted to let you know, you know. We have breakfast at 6.30 in the morning. You see, what's freaky is they call it morning meal, not breakfast, these freaks. <laughs> so, um, you guys have just finished uh, d -d 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 dispatching uh, some... Nice. Some fun people. Uh, I have to bring up my... Uh, remind me, you guys uh, dealt with oh the tentacle creatures. Well, two pin two pinchies and one squiggy. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> so so, so uh, you guys just finished dealing with these kind of almost eldritch horror style uh, c -c 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 creatures, um, and uh, the 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 the. the uh, the former crew uh, had been telling you to just leave them and get out before those creatures came. So, uh, the former crew themselves kind of comes forward as like, You def f defeated them? How? Wh who are you? We are a little tired. Very tired well, of this bullshit. While they're having this conversation, I'm going to be casting Mending as many times as I can get away with since it has a long cast time okay. to heal up Gerald. Uh, okay. So uh, you guys watch as Henri is just kind of piecing Chuchu Gerald back together and, you know, you see him slowly focusing on, you know, places where he's got, you know, scrapes and stuff. Real quick question, uh, just to confirm, uh, the, the, the the guy that's been talking to us, I don't think we ever got his name yet. Mm -hmm. um, first off, uh, what's your name, friend? Uh, my, my, my name? Oh, please tell us if you remember your name. My name is... You remember the captain? And you see him just kind of go blank for a, a, a minute when uh, Karen uh, uh, comes over and 
uh, just kind of places a, a hand on his sh 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 shoulder and goes, uh, it's Wilhelm. Yes, yes, that's that's my name. It's 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 Wilhelm. I don't know why I couldn't remember that. It's a strange yeah. place that we're all in. It's been messing with all our memories. We've been slowly forgetting stuff the longer we stay here. Do you remember, has, has uh, a lady been down here to see you all called Eden? I oh, and I'll, descri and I'll describe Eden. I don't think... I didn't know there were other... non-creature things here. All we ever did it dealt with were the... Those things, things you just destroyed and, and some slimes every s -s -s so often. So no one from up top, aside no one, from us, has ever robes, been down here. Wearing robes. Overly friendly looking. And you see him kind of squint his eyes and look down for a little bit. And you watch him just kind of absentmindedly rub his head. I'm, uh... And he kind of looks up again. Uh, oh. S -s Sorry. Uh, is it time for my treatment again? Where are the n normal... Oh, boy. What's the treatment? No, no, no. I, I know I'm... Who are you? Okay, we're friends of Karen. Karen? But we're kind of... She got away, and then he looks over, and you see oh, him just kind of taking it oh. back. You forgot okay. the whole conversation, no. didn't you, friend? No, 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 I, I remember. You were here, and we told you to leave, and then they yeah. came for us, and you defeated them. Why is this so hard? Because they're doing things to you. They're doing things to everybody here. Okay, I know, I, I, I know, but it's it's not time right now. No, no, they said it's not time. No, I, I get that, but I, it's it's not time right now. And and they're here, so that means we, we don't have to. And you see him just seemingly having a conversation that doesn't involve you. Yeah. This is getting weird. Yeah, uh, these guys have been messed with a lot, and I think that's what they intended for us. Um, do you happen to... Okay, so do you remember ever leaving this room? Uh, and he just... He starts to kind of panic, as you can see, and you see one of the other people f f f from in the room kind of comes out and just kind of takes his uh, shoulders and kind of leads him back uh, into the room. Um, uh, and kind of sits him down on one of the bed rolls and kind of talks him down from what apparently is a, a pretty bad a panic attack. Um, uh, the youngest member of the crew comes over. Um, yeah, we, uh, what happens is... We were here. We, 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 we woke up on, on the, the island. Mm. And they were really nice. And we yeah. had our own house. Uh -huh. And then somebody got sick. And so it was well, one at a time. And then two. And then five. And then... They said all of us were possibly infected and could come with them because they could help us. And then we came down he he here. Were those people in the nice robe telling you to come down here? I can't remember. I can remember the, 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 the village. But it's like blurry I can't remember it, anyone's faces or or names okay they've been escorted down here in mass there's no way they don't know up topside about this here's a question I just kind of realized here 
what separates these fine ge- these fine people from the members of our crew that were up top? Why are these ones getting changed physically when we had that one girl up top who just simply didn't remember anything about who she was? The one who worked in the the one who worked in the fields. Different name, didn't remember us at all. She didn't put up less of a fight. Maybe she ain't primed and ready yet. Didn't she, um, get sacrificed or something? Uh, yeah, because she was in the room. We felt like she was... We saw her in the fields, had the chat, but then she was down here in the little circle room, right? Uh, yes. Yeah. Uh So maybe it's working different purposes because she wasn't changed. This is total promised Neverland shit. Okay, there's no point in us playing coy anymore, and there's no point in us playing playing along with this, going up topside, pretending this is normal. Uh, we're fighting with someone. Aye. Because that's the only way we're getting out of here. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but we're gonna have to definitely pick off fights. If we're sloppy about this, it might just very well be us against an entire village. It may very well already be. As you're all Are- doing this, uh, Lucky... Since you've been down here, something has felt kind of off in general. And during this conversation they've been having, you've been having this strange kind of pulling sensation from the door that leads uh, down the stairs that you can't really explain. But you feel something is important. Uh... Either you left something important down there, or you missed something down there that's really important. I'll probably absentmindedly walk down and open the door and start walking down. Hey, hey, where you, where you going? Lucky. L- Lucky. Lucky. I would start going after him. Okay. So, Lucky, as you you hear your name, you kind of you go down, you reach for the door, as you turn the handle and open it they start calling your name and you're instantly kind of back. The compulsion is gone. And you don't remember why you opened the door. Lucky, are you okay, good chap? Uh, can we uh, tell like he was in a trance or something or was it completely natural? Uh, with Lucky being a Warforged, uh, reading his expression and things like that is a little awkward for, for most Anyone. of you. Anyone! Uh, simply because you don't deal with Warforged uh, almost at all. They're, uh, they're native to the Plane of Fire, uh, and they don't generally tend to come to the Plane of Air even before the Elemental Wars started, so... Do I still feel that pull? Uh, when they kind of broke you out of the trance, it stopped. You you don't even fully remember feeling the pull. You just kind of it's it's almost like a blackout, uh, a memory blackout where you were doing fine, and the next thing you know, they were calling your name and you'd open the d- d- door. I'll close the door and turn around and walk back where I was. Okay then. Uh, uh, like just like it's looking sideways. I'm like, okay. We're if we're all here, I think we're gonna leave the crew, the former crew, uh, alone. I don't think we're capable of taking care of them going through this place. It might be they might be best for ourselves and them to leave them in their own kind of little stasis there. Best it we can be- do for the best we can do for them is try to at least clear a path exactly. and make things at least safe for them. Yeah. yeah uh, when, once we find out what's going on here we can probably leave them out, right? The kid that was just speaking with you goes okay okay, that, that, that makes sense um, 
We'll be ready, though. Um, if, uh... Here. And you see him extend his hand, and in his hand you see an image of keys just kind of floating there. If you see these, bring them back. They'll open the, the, the other door. There's more of us here. Oh, good. Uh, of course there are. Oh, my. Hey, what's your name, kid? Nathaniel. Nathaniel. Well, Nathaniel, if any of us come back, I'm lucky. I'm, uh, I'm Smegwick. That's Lucky. Zarian. Hi. Uh, just call me Reggie. Okay. Go uh, back and close the door so. Yeah, yeah, they come that might be back best. before you, you do, they, they won't know you're here, okay? Well, they might suspect us, but you play, you just play dumb. You just, uh, you play like you don't remember, because <laughs> that'll be a stretch. Okay. And you see him go in, you see him close the door, and you hear the, the lock. The door closes. We are so fucked. Oh, God. <laughs> we are so fucked. We gotta fight. We, we are. We, we're. My opinion, we need to fight our way out of here. We are going to be picking fights uh, mm. because we're not ending up like that. I'm not going down like that. Yeah, okay. neither okay. am I. Okay, what we need is some kind of advantage. Okay, um, we got a magic they, back. They ain't suspecting that. While we, got, we got a, we got items. Yes. While this conversation is going on, Lucky, again, yeah. you start feeling this strange pulling sensation, and suddenly. <clears throat> You start feeling this very kind of wrong f -f 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 feeling, like where you are right now is wrong. You're not supposed to be here. Where you're supposed to be is on the other side of that door. And where you are right now is very, very wrong, and you shouldn't be here. And just everything about being near these people and everything feels like very, very wrong, and everything feels very, very right on the other side of the d -d door. I'll do the same thing again, just absentmindedly go to the door okay. and start and open it, and this time go a little quicker. This time I, ca this time I cast Mage Hand. I know I can't attack or anything. I was like, hey, 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 lucky, 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 hey, 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 hey. Oh, that's so, not good. Uh, what do <laughs> you want to do, do with the, the m -m -m Mage Hand? I'm just tapping him on the shoulder, like, because I know, because I know I'm also taller, so I'm just like, I'm yeah. getting his attention. So, as you guys are having this discussion, uh, uh, and things are getting a little more heated. Uh, Lucky doesn't like just go, I'm going to leave now. Boom. He kind of very stealthily slips out, uh. opens the door very quietly. Um, and by the time you all realize. Oh, we don't notice. Okay. He's gone. He's already opened the door and actually started walking through it. He's not gone per se, but he's started walking through the door and started to go down the s stairs when you guys go, wait a minute, what? Uh, Lucky activated ninja mode. Wait. He's got the right idea. We need to find more. We know stuff how in this place. That's the bad direction, though. We know that's a bad direction. Lucky, how is how is a metal man that quiet? And again, Lucky, when you hear your name and like the mage hand taps you on the shoulder, you you're awake again. This time, you remember feeling very, very wrong in this room and very, very right as soon as you opened it at the door. I still feel the urge to go farther. Or am uh, I have, no, like, all the urges are gone, but you remember them the, 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 yeah. this time. Uh, how far down am I? And as far as in the stairs, uh, am I just couple right here? Stairs, couple stairs. Okay. Like you've b barely gone at all. All right. I would just stand there and turn around and say, uh, I don't know. It doesn't hell, look dude. good in that room. Okay, let's. Well, we know we, that's a bad direction. Should we? Let's go. Remember, we talked about going uh, northwest. We're we, we still good going that direction? Kind of like looking around everyone else. I mean, beat sitting around with our thumbs up our asses. Okay, I'm like, I'm keeping an eye on Lucky, like, it's okay, so let's uh, all go back up here. I'm gonna keep an eye on him. Okay. 
I'll be going up as well. Lucky, as you're starting to g- g- go up with the rest of the crew, you do feel a strangely strong compulsion to leave the door at least slight, slightly open. For some odd reason, you think if you close the door c- completely, something extremely b- b- bad is going to, d- d- to happen. And the floors here, like we said, there's like squeak, squeak, squeaky clean, right? Yes. Yeah, so I can't. Clean. All right, so I'll just yeah, I'll leave it. Uh, like basically, you know how you do, you put your hand in between the door and the door frame before you're, so you say you want to close it all the way. Mm-hmm. I do that and let make sure it doesn't shut before I walk out of it. Okay. So, uh, what do the rest of you guys want to do? do, do, do? I believe Smegwick was leading us on a magical journey. <laughs> I'm not going in front. You guys have the... Now, again, the door to the north uh, is not the really nice hung door that goes yeah. south. Uh, this one is kind of misshapen, and, and the, the frame itself is warped a little bit. It's just kind of there. Someone um, was angry when they slammed this door. Yeah. All right, well, so I'll go first. I will open the door, because as far as we're aware, it wasn't trapped every other time we used it. Yep. Uh, no, just... so as you open the door, everybody dies. Uh, no. As you open the door, you see the hallway you saw b- 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 before. Goes about uh, 25 feet, and then uh, it goes into a T hallway. On the right, you know, are the stairs that lead b- b- back up, and the left is a hallway that you guys haven't ex- explored yet. Uh, remind me, it's it's dimly lit in this entire hallway yeah, uh, situation, right? Yes, there okay. is dim lighting from some unknown uh, source of uh, la la light. Okay, I was just curious because I don't have dark vision. Yes, everything uh, is dimly lit. I will go up here, around up the to the left. Is that the only door I see? Is that one to the north, or do I see more down the hall? Uh. You see the door to the north, and then down the hall, you see the hallway uh, makes a sharp right turn uh, to go back south. Um, but you don't see a door down there. You just see the hallway turning. I guess I'll have Gerald in the rear. Um, I'll have him warn me if something sneaks up behind. Uh, you guys might want to take a step back. I don't know what this door is going to do. As you go through the door, uh, lucky as you go through, you again get this incredibly strong compulsion that if you completely close the door, something very, very bad is going to to, to, to happen. Um, Would I be able to, since I am metallic, Mm -hmm. would I be able to, I'm assuming it has like a normal latch like you would normally see on a door? Or is it uh, kind of... Yeah, it, it, it's got, you know, a, a, a latch. Is there any way I could just use my finger to jam it and break it? Uh, sure. Um, make me... Uh, I'll let you cho- to choose. You can use strength athletics if you're just going to try and force it shut. Uh, or uh, dexterity sleight of hand if you're trying to kind of finagle it to jam it. Uh, any more delicate way. Basically, oh. one will be reversible, one will n- n- not. Uh, that's a natural 20. Um, why not? Let's go, let's go athletics for 26. Okay. So uh, as you kind of go past the door, you just take your thumb and shove it in as hard as you can, completely breaking the lever mechanism. Uh with very little other damage done to the door itself. Um, Perfect. And the rest of you uh, probably wouldn't even have heard much uh, beyond a metal scraping on metal sound, which is the same sound he makes as he walks along the floors for metal scraping on rock. But Oh, God. Right save time I am going to I'm not going to bother checking for traps I am just going to see if it's locked and then attempt to pick the lock 
Okay. Uh, the door in front of you is uh, not locked. All right. Well, that was easy. I'll just open the door. Oh, the black just got black. Black just got bigger. Yeah. I clicked reveal areas. There we go. Uh, as you open it up, there are three actual beds here, uh, as opposed oh. to the mats that you guys just saw. <laughs> and you found a secret. Uh, the weird thing, I've got, I've got a cell phone. And I've got a tablet that I use for different things, but they're both linked to my Twitter account. And the tablet is always like five minutes slower at least. So I have no idea what it was referencing, but whatever it was, it's something that happened a while ago. <laughs> it may I have will. been the retweet from Katie. It was like an hour ago. Uh, yeah, so this is so. Um, as you go up, you guys see this, this room with three beds and a little kind of footlocker at the end of each bit of a bed. Um, it doesn't look welcoming or anything like that, but it's it's nice compared to what you've seen da -da 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 down here. Unless the beds are evil, I say we move on. I'll just keep going down the hall until I see it turn or another door. Okay. So, uh, oh, as you go, it, it turns and then it comes to an, 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 another d -d door. Uh, Lucky, as you pass by the the, 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 the door uh, to the room with the, the, the three beds, you suddenly start feeling that kind of compulsion to go back d -d 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 down the stairs again. Uh, Alright, I'm going to uh turn around and bump into whoever's behind me, essentially. Gerald. So, Gerald just kind of goes oops, and kind of shuffles out of your way, which is kind of the pre-programmed response when someone not aggressive to, to, to them uh, tends to b -b bump into the b -b bot. Uh... Does, does that knock me out of the feeling, or is that no, for this time, you you still feel it very, very strongly. I heard Gerald say something, so I kind of look back. Gerald can't speak. He essentially just, like, slammed the, the, uh, his back to the wall. So he heard, like, the metal hitting the wall, probably. Yeah. Well, someone's moving he around suddenly. Cool. Well, someone's moving around suddenly. Like, uh. You guys see as... Uh, Lucky, since the, 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 uh, the feeling hasn't gone away, are you going to continue going down? Yeah. Okay. Yep. You Lucky. Guys watch his, Lucky's walking Lucky. away. Lucky! Ch Mage hand again. Yeah. Like. No, 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 no. Stop yelling! Sorry. Uh, as you feel the Mage hand kind of grip your sh sh shoulder and you hear everyone saying things, nothing changes. You still feel that this is. And every, every step you take, you feel better. Like every step you take, you're like, oh, much better. And then another step. Okay. Much. Whew. All right. If you've ever had a situation where you suddenly remember something extremely important and start panicking, like, oh, I forgot to do this thing. And then you remember, oh, wait. No, wait, I did that. Okay, I did that. And that kind of, oh. Yeah. Okay. I'm not screwed. Every step you take in the right direction you get that feeling of, oh, much better. I'll definitely keep going. Lucky, okay. we need Lucky. you over here. Uh. So at this point, you've come to the corner <coughs> uh, where it turns south. Uh, and you guys see, like, you, you saw the mage hand grab onto him. You know uh, uh, it impacted him, and he, he seems to be ignoring you. That is a bad, bad way to go. Spitwit's got his tail on the back of his on the back of his on the back of his neck hook, and he's like trying to at least he's futilely futilely just flapping back, trying to like tow a giant backwards. Yeah, <laughs> I'll even Lucky, you feel, you. Uh, Spitwick, uh is a, a fairy dragon, right? A pseudo dragon. Pseudo dragon. Okay. 
So they, they have little claws, like a like a dragon wool would have, yep. correct? So yeah, you feel these little claws grip onto your shoulder, and you feel this slight kind of tugging sensation. Not strong enough to do anything for, for, for you, but strong enough for you to notice. And he's intelligence. He's also giving him mental images of just like, you know, hand, front, back, stop, all the different universal signs of just like... A uh, giant around. red octagon. So you, you have... Uh, as long as he's within 100 feet, you have effectively telepathic communication with <coughs> him, correct? I do, and pseudo-dragons are also, they have kind of a limited, no, 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 no. unique... What I'm, I'm, I'm aware of that. Um, you I, have get, I have a telepathic bond with, with You Spitwood, would get yes. uh, expressions that didn't make sense at first, of just strange kind of feelings and images that you didn't understand. Uh, and as Lucky turns the corner, it finally clicks what your pseudo dragon uh, is trying to say. He can't talk to Lucky. His ability to his one ability to communicate is he sends these mental images, and, and he's he's sig uh, no sig no signal found. Yeah, he's he's telling you quote, quote, quote quite literally he cannot speak to Lil Lucky right now. Th there are no bars. Yeah, no <laughs> bars. <laughs> I love that. I'm a. It's I don't know. Try to take that cue from forward and uh, try well, to. Right now, uh, um, the only Lucky person didn't take the this... vaccine, so he's not five G. Oh, shut <laughs> up! <laughs> uh, the only person that's aware of it uh, is, 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 is Smegwick because of the telepathic connection. No one else is currently aware of that right now. Uh, not until I say that, like, uh, no, no, no. Uh, he uh, Spitwood ain't connecting with him. Some, uh, he got someone else in there. Something else, all right. something else all right. going on. All right, I'm going to try something. Hopefully it will help out. I run up to Lucky, and I'm going to try and cast Friends on him. Okay. That's uh, saving throw for me, right? I'm sorry? Is that a saving throw for me, or does that actually just happen? I believe you uh, just have an advantage on charisma checks against you. Oh, okay. Hey, Lucky. You doing all right? You know where you are right now. Do you do you know who I am? You know who this little who this little fella is? And I kind of um, I kind of like pat Smegwick, spit Reggie, a bit. As spit you cast this, this is a spell, uh, it doesn't take effect. Guys, my magic isn't working on him. It's as if you had cast it on a chair. Okay, That's guys. Me, Jody. Why you gotta call me that? <laughs> Guys, guys, <laughs> it's guys. a chair. He's an agent of Matt Mercer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is how I get uh, my. Uh, I just realized what that was. Okay. Especially with with the the, the new copyright laws for Critical Role. This is how we we get into this make mention we of we are not officially sponsored nor connected in any way, shape, or form to Critical Role. Call in us. fact, uh, aside from uh, uh, a few interactions I've had with Matt uh, uh, over the years, most of them have no idea I exist. So, yeah. Uh, that being said, um, Lucky, as you're going, you see, uh, kind of out of the corner of your eye, you see Reggie cast a spell. Um, and as you're going, you find it very strange that he cast a spell at you and nothing happened. Like you felt nothing, you, and then in the back of your mind, I was like, "That's weird." Reggie doesn't cast spells for no reason, but you still feel this compulsion to keep going. So, with that knowledge, what would you like to do? I give a side glance and furrow my non-existent brow. And uh, lucky, do you see? Do you know us? You can hear them in every th thing. Yeah. Um, I'm trying to think of how I would respond. Uh, he paused way too long. <laughs> what do you mean? He's he stopped walking for a moment while he considers what he says. So I mean, he can't multitask. The task. Mm. I feel it's a very simple question. Do you know us? Walking and chewing gum is hard, guys. Especially if you don't have a mouth in the first place. Hey, I have a mouth, thank you. Um, yeah, I know you. Okay, why are you walking away from us? We need you over here. Uh, 
something Something's down us? there. And I start walking again. We've been down there. That's bad things. Yeah. There, there is quite literally nothing down there. You go down the stairs, you're under the veil, and there's nothing out there. He's continued with walking. Okay, simple answer. We're going to have to follow him, and God forbid we have to stop him from jumping off the cliff, because we sure as hell ain't going to be, like, tangling with him right now. Aww. All right, double double time it, people. Hi. So as you get back to uh, the r- r- room, you guys see Lucky is a little bit ahead of you, and he, he goes to the door. To, the door kind of, the door is weighted to kind of shut itself. So you see the door kind of shut itself, and as you guys get there, you notice the handle doesn't work. Oh. But it's also not stopping the door from opening. You can't turn the handle, but it doesn't seem that uh, it's stopping the door from opening. Because that's, make... lo- that's the one that Lucky <clears throat> messed up that we don't know yeah. about. Okay. When I get to the other door, the mm-hmm. door at the far end of this room, I would do the same thing to that handle. Well, okay. we see that now. Where I would imagine if we were trying to keep up with you, right? Yeah, uh, you would see him sit there and and start basically pushing his thumb into the the latching mechanism. This one uh, is uh, a, a much better made to the door, uh, so I'm going to have you roll uh, another athletics check for for, for, for this. Uh, it'll be disadvantage on the, the, this one just because this is a. Oh. Great. Hey, luck. Very well to, uh, to lucky, what are you, lucky, what are you doing? Can I talk you out of like messing up the doors that could potentially <laughs> help us stop things from chasing lucky. us? Well, it was a natural nineteen. Now it's an, an eleven plus six for seventeen. Okay, and uh, be it's not. still not incredibly difficult. You you kind of jam it in. You think it's fixable, uh, but for the time being, the lacking mechanism, uh, the latching mechanism, is not uh, actively working. You. Uh, jammed it in a way that without someone actively doing something to fix it, it won't sh- sh- shut again. Or it won't lock again. Sarian, you know this guy better than I do. Maybe you can talk to him? Hi. You guys won't let me pass. I'm just following you at this point. But dude, I'm not blocking this. you. You do whatever you want. I'm not in your way. Yeah. I'm also like four I'm, foot yeah, seven yeah, and everyone way, else towers over me. <laughs> I'm a goblin. Yeah, you're probably my height. <laughs> he he, he kind of wanders off sometimes. I don't know if this is one of those moments. But and we you follow know him. You know what's on the edge of that? Nothing. I mean, literally, re- nothing. He's also the reason we're down here in the first place. Because he was able to sense something, so. Well, he sensed something, isn't it? Uh, okay, so not going to help. Okay. He's now I mean, started heading down the, the stairs. Lucky! Well, someone better be able to stop him if he does something bad. Lucky, down bad, up good. Uh, Lucky, as you go past the first da, 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 da door, um, you start hearing in your head, that's right. Yes. Uh, I would. Is there a directional sense, or is it just, just uh, it in still my head? Just feel, uh, uh, that particular thing is just like someone's whispering in your ear. Uh, the feeling of compulsion is still just uh, encouraging you to continue heading to the down. <coughs> I, would, I wouldn't slow down. I would just keep going. I'm whispering to the rest of the group. We might have to wrestle him. We might have my to t- dogpile. It might take all of us to do it. Uh, as you pass by the second uh, door, um, you hear another whisper. Perfect. Come to me. Yes. Isn't that the room I gassed? Uh, hey. No, I'm, I'm talking about this room way up here. Oh, okay. So <laughs> he's, like, a little bit, he's a little bit ahead of my narration at this particular That's- point. Oh, okay. I was like, well, oh. we're not going in that room. Bye, Lucky. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. So, um, so Lucky, with the fact that now you are very aware someone is communicating with you, 
Uh, does that change what you're doing at all, or are you going to just continue walking? Uh, I would say out loud, are you the one asking me to go down? Yes. 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 Come. Trust me. That's what I don't know you. Everyone. As a, as a, as a jig of what? Lucky, what did I teach you about strangers? Stranger danger, stranger danger. Unfortunately, we still do not remember the what happened. Last yeah, time none of you scenario. guys re remember the last time Lucky was speaking to himself. Oh, darn it. I swear, if we get down to that veil flow again, we see a giant airship that has free candy painted on the side of it. I'm setting this whole place on fire. So, That's... now that you started talking, are you continuing to walk, or have you stopped to, to, to talk to this entity? I'd probably stop for just a minute. Okay. So you guys watch as Lucky has stopped, and he seems to be conversing with n n no one. Lucky, who are you having a conversation with? Because it surely isn't us. Don't worry about th th them. But they're my friends. Well, do they know what's going on? None of us do. Do you? Can you tell me? Of course, but you need to come to me. What, what are they telling you, Lucky? Oh. I can he save was... you and your friends. Is it the same oh. guy that's uh, that guy's down here in the first place? Would we even remember that with all the memory loss we had? Don't think so. Any no. anything that's happened since you've been on the island, you guys all remember. So uh, but what about but what about the event where we all heard the voice wanting us to jump off the boat no. before we got to the end? We don't remember you guys that. Do okay. not remember member. We remember the point up to our first time on the ship, and then it's all just edited out. <laughs> yeah, edited insert, for in, to the in, time. In, yeah, insert later in post. Gotcha. I, I, I found a friend. He's going to tell me what's happening. Your friend's telling you to go places you ought not to. I don't think that's a good friend. Yeah. But he knows what happens. And I start walking. Right. That's not a good thing! Yeah. Take candy from strangers. So as you guys say that, you watch him just turn on his heels and keep on going down the stairs. You better luck arguing with the door, guys. Trust me. Frustrating. Has he done this before? Arguing with voices? Well, yeah, but not to this extent, as far as I'm aware. As you get past the, uh, d -d door, or as you get to the door, uh, with, uh, where all the experiments d -d 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 took place, now, instead of it sounding like someone kind of whispering in your ear, now it's kind of your entire head is reverberating with this, yes, yes, just a little further, yes, keep coming. The Why answers can't you tell me that's why I walk to you? The answers will c c come, but you must come to me. How can I help you if you don't come to me, me, me? I don't know. Stop fighting. Come. I'm, but I'm not fighting. But you guys hear him. You guys are effectively hearing his half of all these conversations. Uh... Yeah. Picturing a very frustrated individual trying to argue with a child right now. <laughs> <laughs> Smegwick, I think at this point is going to go. Lucky, you freaking stop or else! And I just look at look at Owie, just like going. And Lucky and I, would hear and I, your friend just, <laughs> threatening you. I was going. He just awkwardly crouched and was like. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 and Ron Burgundy, I immediately regret this decision. <laughs> <laughs> I'll stop and turn around. Lucky, whatever is going into your head, that's out of it! I cast Shocking Grasp on him. 
Oh! Make your attack roll. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, you, I was contemplating doing that. <laughs> do you get, like, b b bonuses if they're wearing metal armor or anything? It's advantage, I, it's advantage of their metal armor. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So he's m metal, you would get the advantage. I was like, I remembered earlier editions, you got bonuses for using shocking grasp on, on uh, people in metal uh, armor. The advantage is if you crit. <laughs> I, I was contemplating asking, but I was like, no, Jody's not going to let me do non-lethal taser damage. Yeah, spells, unfortunately, it, it cannot be non-lethal. Well, some people sound like it. I'm like, there's no way I can argue with taser. Unfortunately, I don't think I had 14. Is that with the advantage? Yes. Okay. I rolled a 5 and an 8. So, as you sit there and you kind of... Uh, bring your uh, a hand out that's now kind of sparking with electricity. Uh, Lucky, you notice it and kind of instinct takes over and you just kind of dodge out of the way as uh, her hand impacts the wall instead of you and you watch as the lightning just kind of grounds itself against the wall. <coughs> uh, mm -hmm. uh, can I uh, react by uh, slamming my tail against his well, why don't uh, light? You and what? Lucky roll me initiative. Oh, oh my shit. god! <laughs> oh no! I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna ask to roll initiative too because we'll get to that. <laughs> okay. Oh, fuck! Really? Come on. Sorry. We're trying to we're we're doing what we would do. No, not you. I rolled a one. Oh. Okay. Oh sweet. So two. Okay, and then uh, Howie. Twenty-three. Twenty-three. So, Good um. Lord. As you kind of impact the wall, natural 19. initiative starts at that point, and Lucky, you instantly, uh, as much as it can in your kind of metallic body, you get into kind of fighting mode. You've been attacked. Uh, instinct kind of kicks in, and you you know this is your friend Owie. You're you're not under any compulsion that you need to fight her. But even if a friend takes a swing at you it kind of gets you into that fight or flight mindset yeah. is set. Uh-oh. Before you could do anything, Owie, uh, you miss with your initial at the attack, but you notice that he's still kind of recovering from the, pardon the pun, shock of your at the attack. Uh, so uh, you have uh, basically your turn of actions if you want to do something else before he can react to, to it. I, uh, I'm going to uh, try and uh, shock him again. Okay. So her other hand starts to spark as she reaches to, 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 to towards you. Uh, that's a natural 18. Uh, yeah, I'm 19, you see. Okay. So uh, this time, as she misses the first one, you, you know, fight or flight kicks in, you feel the adrenaline start b b pumping, uh, and then you feel a hand grasp you on your side, and electricity shoots th 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 through you, uh, burning at the point of impact, and, and your, all of your skin and everything in you just feels this electricity jolt. How much did the damage do you did it do? I... Uh. 11 points, and as I do that, I said, I'm sorry for this, but wake up! You are definitely awake now. And 11 points uh, uh, lower in hit points. Uh, Lucky, what would you like to do now that she is a detective? Again, you are under no compulsion that she is now an enemy or anything like that. You know who she is. It's just she's attacked you now. Oh, I don't have a shield. Okay, that changes that. All right. Uh, you guys found all your. Equipment. Yeah, get her. I'll carry your back. Your back. So he uh, uses pole arms. Yeah, oh, no, yeah. I don't have a shield in general. I, was, I, I thought I did, but I don't. Uh, let's see, is that an action? That is an action. Okay, I won't do that. Uh, then I will uh, shoulder check her and try to push her away. Okay. Uh, so you uh, effectively using the shove action? Uh, yeah, if I can, okay. yeah. Yeah, definitely. Um, that'll be uh, an athletics uh, contest. So both you guys roll strength athletics digit checks. 
god. Now, uh, because you have extra attack, you can do the shove action as an action, or you can use it to replace one of your attacks, meaning you would technically have another uh, attack that you could replace with a shove action or a trip action. Okay. Uh, yeah. I would like to uh, shove her, and if I can, uh, use the uh, not the bladed side, but the handle side of the halberd and take her feet from underneath her. Okay. Uh, I will say, uh, we'll resolve the shove first. Uh, if okay. you want to try and trip her, you'll have to move up to her, because if you succeed in this, she'll have moved back five feet. Uh, so... Uh, you would, uh, is it a 10-foot reach with a halberd? Err. We'll deal with that in a second. Uh, first okay. things first. Uh, Owie, what'd you get for your strength at the athletics? Uh, 12. 12, okay. And then little Lucky? Uh, it was uh, 17. 17, okay. So yeah, as you shock him, you see him just kind of take his halberd and he puts it aside and just shoves you. Um, I think rules-wise, you normally have to be within five feet, but I like the idea of you just using the end of the halberd to try and take your f- f- feet out. Uh, so yeah, that'll be another uh, strength athletics ch- challenge or contest. I mean, so though, <laughs> Howie, I think in this particular instance you could choose to defend with acrobatics. Oh, nice! Uh, twenty-three. Okay. <laughs> acrobatics. Na- natural nineteen for a twenty-five. Okay. Damn it. So as he shoves you away, you watch him kind of spin the halberd around and bring it and just kind of pop it beneath uh, your ankles. Uh, as you you notice him coming around, you anticipate the trip, uh, having had a little bit of combat to the training uh, uh, in school. Uh, and so you kind of try and brace yourself against the wall to kind of kick your feet up and, and avoid it completely. Uh, but the wall is so misshapen here that your hand slips uh, and you just kind of tumble to the ground. You are currently prone. Now that those two have had their turns, the rest of you have just watched Aoi attack the wall and hit the wall pretty well. Like, you're definitely certain that wall won't be attacking anyone else again. Uh, and then she kind of turned around and attacked Lucky. And then Lucky pushed her and tripped her uh, and is now armed. Uh, would any of the rest of you like to do, 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 do anything? Can I use my uh, movement? Uh, yeah, you you have your your turn. So before you guys can do that, lucky, I would, I would turn and walk the other way. Okay, so you see him start descending down the s- stairs after pushing into the tripping alley. All right, that does it. We're going for the knees. He's at the edge now. I feel this is very, this has gotten very bad. Uh, I will say uh, the stairs are difficult terrain, so you can't get that far. Oh, my yeah. head. I'll go back here. Uh, yeah, each stair is effectively 10 feet. And I get up by this point? Uh, well, it's not your turn yet. So right Bye. now I'm just seeing if Smegwick, Desarian, or Reggie has a, if they want to get involved in this, because if they do, I will have the roll initiative. Yeah, and well, this, yeah, because Megwick's if it's double terrain, 10. 10, 20. So, really yeah, quickly, I, yeah. who is yeah. getting involved this yep. turn? Okay, so it's Megwick. Reggie, are you getting involved? Uh, Yeah, I can get involved. Zarian? Uh, I'll wait around. Okay, so Smegwick and Reggie, go ahead and roll initiative for, for me. 14. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. Uh, oh, it's someone else's. I'm oh, sorry. Yeah, I'm 14. Yeah, I, I'm 15. You're 14. Okay. So, uh, when the re- next round starts, Owie, you are first. Yep. Uh, so, as you guys kind of realize you need to get involved here, you see Owie start to yeah. m- m- move. Uh, if you stand up, that takes half your movement. Yes, it does. Okay. What else do you want to do? do, do, do? Oh, 
I'm just going to stand shot. I don't know what to do. Okay. And that's p p perfectly fine. So you guys watch as Owie gets up and she kind of, you know, rubs her back from impacting on the stairs and everything. And she just looks really kind of surprised about everything g going on. Um, uh, next up is R R Reggie. Okay, I don't really have anything on me that could stop him, but kind of kind of taking note that he seems like he's talking to himself, I, I get an idea. I take a take a copper coin, just kind of expend that, and I use a uh, crap. What was it called again? Uh, detect exactly. thoughts on him. Cool. Because I I, I want to hear what's going on inside his head. Absolutely. Uh, roll me an intelligent saving throw. Fuck. Uh, eighteen. Uh, not enough, unfortunately. What? As you sit there and you start concentrating on him, you immediately feel this massive pain in your head uh, as uh, you see images of almost Lovecraftian creatures just kind of flash through your m m memories. Um, and you are stunned until uh, the start of your next turn. Do I hear this? Uh, you would have hear, heard him go, ah! Reggie! But beyond you, you that... See, you see me, like, scream out, and I, like, fall on my ass, and I am, like, shaking just right there. Yeah, he, he looks almost comatose at the, 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 uh, this point. Reggie, hold on! Uh, with that being done, uh, Smegwick, you've just watched Reggie cast a spell and then immediately grip his head, fall to the floor, and become unresponsive. Maintaining your sanity is a complete different system. What's going on? Uh, I'm just gonna figure I can't move past Alley. Uh, but I can send. Actually, I should just ch I should check. Sorry, I should check my movement on. Oh yeah, I got speed for days on Spitwit. Uh. Yeah, so Spitwit is going to fly over. It's also over. not uh, uh, affected by difficult terrain. Yep, that's why I did it. Um, flying b behind, just like flies past over, um, over Lucky. Lucky, I really need you to stop going down. Something really bad's affecting you, pal. And... Uh, Basically, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold my action. Uh, because what I can do is I can cast a touch-based spell through Spitwit. So what spell are you pre 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 preparing? Shocking Grass. <laughs> okay. So you have Spitwit kind of just basically in his path. Well, he's, he's behind him. Oh, he's so he's... Over his... Yeah, I moved, him on the... I moved him on the map. He's behind him now. You have him in front of me. Yeah, Oh, I'm sorry. What? I mean, if you were facing, so I'm hoping to get his attention. But if, I'm, if he's but effectively, not, it... my understanding, mm -hmm. uh, Spitwick is is Spitwick uh, in between him and the veil, or is he on the other side? He. My intent was for to be behind Lucky, so whichever direction he's facing, he's going to be behind. So if uh, Lucky's still facing forward, the hell yeah, then I guess he was, that will... he was walking forward. Yeah, if he's not stopping, he's not turning around. I think this is where he'll be then. Okay, cool. And then the trigger is uh, if he attempts to leave that square. I'm assuming if he, if he keeps going down, Spitwit okay. Spitwit is gonna sh I'm gonna shock I'm going to shock and grasp through Spitwit. Okay, makes sense. Uh, so yeah, Lucky. Um, I think as far as Lucky knows, Spitwit's just still like trying to like get his attention. Don't go, don't go. Yes, as far as you would be aware, since it's happening behind you. Uh, you you would probably be aware that Spitwick is the, the there, mm -hmm. um, and you would have heard Smegwick say what he did to did, uh, but beyond that, you uh, you don't know anything. So, All right? Please stop turn? him. We'll all go back up and talk, please. So it's your turn, Lucky. What would you like to do? do, 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 do? 
Uh, I would like to dump the rest of my uh, lay on hands with it into myself. Okay. So you guys uh, watch as uh, he kind of presses a hand to, 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 to his chest. You watch as some of the burns and things like that f -f from his uh, 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 battle with uh, Owie start to kind of heal themselves and his his skin takes a, a more lustrous up -up 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 appearance. And I'll keep walking forward. Okay. As soon as he starts the to... first step he takes, I'm gonna I'm gonna Go light ahead. him up. I don't want to. Like I don't want to do this. Advantage. Not in alley. Advantage. Of course, I roll really great. I'm attacking my. I'm attacking. <laughs> <laughs> so twenty-seven to hit. Uh -huh. hits. You're good. Um. Now this does take your reaction to do that. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, go ahead and roll damage. Uh, Lucky, as you start moving again, oh, no. you feel... The, the, Ignore the, that roll. Ignore that roll. I rolled a 20 by mistake. <laughs> yeah. uh, as you uh, start moving forward again, uh, you feel the claws kind of grip you again, but this time the claws come with electricity, and you feel, again, that familiar feeling of electricity just shooting th 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 through you. Um, and uh, uh, 13 points of damage. Yeah. 13 points of uh, lightning of damage. Uh, it doesn't stop you from moving, uh, but it would basically Prevent interrupt your turn at that point uh, to where if you would like to uh, decide to do something different with your movement, you can. There's now, nothing can stopping you. Conditionally, can I also say that I I was going to order, uh, that I was ordering the plan to work with Spitwit for them shock him and then fly away because I don't want Spitwit in the <laughs> Line of fire. Uh, I don't know if that's an option for, or not for, hold, for, for holding an action uh, since it happens uh, not on yours or Spitwick's turn he can't move okay so so with that knowledge that a second friend has now attacked you does that change what you're d d doing now Lucky? friggin stop uh, I would like to, if I can, grasp the little dragon uh, by the throat, if I can. Uh, sure, oh, it would uh, it would be a, a good, good grapple check. Uh, so it would be a, uh, strength athletics for you, and then uh, roll either strength athletics or uh, dexterity acrobatics for S -S Spitwick. Uh, 21. God, why are we all rolling so high? Okay, so that's plus two. Okay. So that's being 15. Okay. So, yeah, you grab uh, and you, you have him g -g 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 grappled. Uh, now, if he does that snatch, you're going to see Smegwick Smeg go. So, you, you, you've got the, the little creature held, what would you like to, 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 to do? Don't um, you dare! I will... Uh, so with how attacks and everything uh, what, what works, uh, uh, really c -c quickly, uh, uh, Christo uh, has given a reroll token to Lucky. Yes. Uh, no. And an inspiration to Zarian. Try to stop him from hurting himself. <laughs> and we're hurting him. Semantics, you know. So, uh, as I mentioned before, uh, since you have extra attack, you can replace one of your attacks with a push, uh, which can either trip or push back, or uh, a grapple. So theoretically, you have another attack if you want to use it. Uh, um, you see the look on Smegwa's face change. Yeah, I would as well. I don't feel... Okay, so, uh, out of character, I don't feel like, compelled to fight them. I just want... I just, I'm just. i feeling compelled to move, right? Uh... Nothing in the compulsion you are getting uh, is indicating that they are enemies. 
the only compulsion you have to quote unquote fight is the fact that you have been attacked and it is just natural to defend yourself but you know who all these people are you are under no mind altering thing that would make you think that they are your enemies or something these are the same people you've been t- traveling with for you know uh, a little under a month even though you don't remember most of that at a time um so it is entirely up to you since again you don't know them nearly as well as you do as a Zarian and Zarian thus far has not made any aggressive moves it is entirely up to you as to what Lucky would do but you are not you are under no compulsion to attack them or treat them as his enemies this entire time I just want to point out we've all been telling you just to stop yeah could I just knock out the dragon? Like, just knock it unconscious and leave it on uh, the ground? You can do non-lethal damage with m- 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 melee attacks. Okay, I'll do that. So, if you want to d- 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 do that, you, uh, because it's happened b- before, and you being a paladin, you you probably would be familiar with how uh, familiars in general work. Uh, you would know that, that uh, quote-unquote, killing a familiar simply kind of banishes it back to where it came from they, they don't actually die if you reduce them to zero hit points um, yeah. and rendering you do them. know you do know how much Smegwick went through and try and get Spitwick back so with that knowledge uh, if you want to you know make an attack against it you 100% kick a can and so I do know that they I do know that they, they return yes yes you would be able to oh, okay uh, you probably would also be aware of how upset Smegwig would get if you get rid of his p- p- pet, but it did just shocking grasp you, so. Yeah, I'll just knock him unconscious. Go for it. Oh, no. Make your t- t- attack. I guess he has, adva- um, he has advantage, I'm guessing, or he just does it. No, not with a grapple. There's there's a feat you can take, uh, the grappler feat, that if you have a creature grappled, you get advantage on attack rolls. I'm assuming Lucky doesn't have it, so no, he wouldn't have an advantage. Uh, would this be just with fist? I, I guess I have to deal with that because the halberd's too long. I'm assuming, right? Uh, no. Let's let's say you can att- attack with the halberd just to make things just simpler. Okay. Uh, seventeen. Uh, yeah. So, uh, I'm assuming seventeen hits. I, I don't have oh. his oh, yeah. block yeah. in front of me. Sp- Spitwit's AC is uh, 13. Okay. okay. So yeah, go ahead and roll the, 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 the damage. That's a 10, so 13. So. You almost, you almost did double. <laughs> oh no. Oh. I don't know what the rolls are for sub for non-lethal damage. <laughs> Theoretically, with the non-lethal damage, as soon as they hit zero hit points, no matter what, they are instantly stable. Um, so, but it's not. He almost did it, but he didn't. Uh, His hit points are seven. Hit points are seven. Oh, okay. So he's still kick it conscious. So yeah, you sit there and you kind of like bash it uh, with this, this side of your uh, halberd. Uh, and you watch as Spitwick's eyes kind of roll around a bit. It goes, blah, blah, blah. But it still seems to be conscious. I no, I think he's unconscious, right? Because he's at seven. And he did more than that. Oh, he had seven hit points? Yes. Oh, okay, sorry. Then, yeah, uh, as you hit him, <laughs> Spitwick disappears. No, he, he, if he gets knocked unconscious, doesn't he? He's if he's killed. reduced to zero hit points. Being rendered unconscious and reduced to zero hit points are technically two different uh, situations. Uh, and because he doesn't die or anything... Th- 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 yeah, but I thought that's only if he loses actual hit points, is what I thought. Uh, non-lethal damage is the exact same as lethal damage. It just instead of making them roll death saves or having them die outright, they would be stabilized. Um, uh, when the familiar drops to zero hit points, it yeah, just, it just says drops to zero hit points. It doesn't really say yeah. the condition. Familiars don't make death saves, so they just, once they hit zero hit points, they're gone. You see Spitwitz, you see Smegwick's eye twitch. So, pff, it disappears. And then, uh, I'll turn and start walking. Okay. Uh, with your remaining speed, you are able to make it to the bottom there. You're not able to quite get to the edge, but... Oh, okay. Uh, 
so yeah uh as you get to the bottom you suddenly feel euphoric almost um kind of like the feeling after uh a really really long day where you finally get to get home you kick your shoes off and you kind of sit down and there's nothing you have to do nothing you know it's first day of a four-day weekend there's nothing that's going on the next day it is just rest and relaxation you feel this huge wave of comfort wash over you and as you become just almost living in this feeling of comfort you guys notice movement in the undervale itself and you watch. Am, am I still like stunned this entire time? Uh, yeah, uh, technically until the end uh, or the start of your next turn, uh, which okay. hasn't happened yet. Gotcha. Uh, so you're still right now. You are seeing visions of horrible, elder horror style things. Oh so, god. So as you guys see there, you uh, uh, those of you that are still conscious that can see the uh, Underveil, uh, you see it kind of shift and move. Uh, and you guys, the weird thing ab about this is it's translucent. Like you guys can see there's like a smoke kind of thing in this Underveil, but you can see through it, it's just hazy. However, what you're currently seeing is this translucent thing is rippling and moving like uh, water. Which shouldn't happen. Like literally, almost like reality is rippling at that point. And as he's standing there, you watch as this massive tentacle rises out of this ripple and it grips on to the island itself. And you see it tense as it pulls and another tentacle comes up. Each one easily large enough uh, for Lucky to fit completely inside with his halberd stretched out. Massive building like tentacles come up and another one and a third one and you watch as this massive gargantuan squid-like creature pulls itself out of the nothingness. You guys see these two massive eyes that as soon as you gaze into them, you instantly feel pain behind your eyes and you see slight flashes of strange alien landscapes and war and destruction. And as much as it seems like it lasts forever, uh, it only uh, physically happens for a fraction of a second. And you see this creature come up, and if eyes could smile, you see the creature kind of smile, and a smaller tentacle come out, wrap around Lucky, and drag him in before he can go it is Aoi's turn now before this happens Zarian uh, you're kind of far up to see this happening um, so I'm going to ask as Lucky continued going down did you at least follow or are you kind of staying back uh, well I have a barbarian blocking my path so I, and my speed's only 25 so I would have gone as close as I can which I think is right there okay so yeah, uh, you uh, you actually can't see any of this, unfortunately. Refresh my memory. What was the uh, the most recent thing I remember? Do I even remember being with this crew at all, or is it just me and Lucky getting to that town? Um, you would have remembered finding Lucky, uh, and maybe. You wouldn't remember joining them, but they would be f f familiar to you, if that makes sense. Like, you don't remember how you joined with them, but they all seem familiar to, to you. Does, yeah, you, explain, you explained 
you explained that to us before like we know he like we all know of each other but when it comes to like anything specifically we do not draw anything up like we we know and then but we don't know anything specific well, seeing as how I can't see what's going on down the stairs, and I just watched two of my friends as essentially. You are, as you were sitting there, uh, you feel a strange kind of burst of energy uh, as uh, Christos uh, casts uh, Expeditious Retreat on you. Uh, you gave that as ability to put on one of us? Uh, they can cast a first level <laughs> spell on a party member. Jeez. So, um, if you wanted, you now have the speed enough to get through, to at least be able to see what's going on. Uh, well, I will move up here because I am so focused on the fact that I just watched two people shock my brother, and okay. I am with the the shovel. I am going to hold it up behind Owie and ask why the hell that happened. Okay. So as you kind of bring the shovel up and you move close enough to get to Owie, you suddenly look down and you see the eyes of this massive um, Lovecraftian creature. And as you see the eyes, you get that brief flash and that pain. Um, and uh, yeah, do you want to join initiative? Yes, but I rolled a nat one, so I'm at three. Okay, so you will go before Lucky will. Uh, We're seeing Pinocchio go into the Cthulhu whale. So, uh, Owie, you're up first. You hear Zarian behind you, sit, you know, ask effectively, what, what the hell did you do? Uh, but you also see this creature. What would you like to do? Um, so, overcome on the motion, I just... Down. Okay. Sorry. Sorry. Okay. Sorry. So you guys watch as uh, Aoi herself, uh, almost kind of paralyzed with just the amount of emotion she's experiencing, just kind of sits down and keeps kind of repeating, I'm sorry, over and over to really everyone and no one at the exact at the same time. Uh, next up is Reggie. Okay, do I need to make any kind of save to break out of my stun? Or do uh, I no, just get once out your of turn it? comes up, the stun ends. Okay. Uh, however, as soon as you are back, you look down and you actually see the creature. You get that, again, very brief flash of things that you've been seeing for the past six seconds. Um, and then you have your turn. Oh, I do have a side question. Seeing this thing, did, did, did we get any kind of a memory spike about the ship encounter? Uh, that was a completely different creature. Okay. So, um... There's a lot of horrible things in your campaign world. Yeah. So, that, so, there's to, more than one, so there's more than one Eldritch thing, then. To give you an idea, I the thing that you guys least... dealt with before was reptilian in nature. Uh, and we don't remember. <laughs> this is, uh, again, it's squid-like. Um, oh, God. So even those of you that might have remembered that, or when you do, if you do eventually get your memory back, these are two very, very different creatures. That yeah. one was kind of reptilian, serpentine almost. This is more aquatic, you know, squid like. Oh, uh, so, hey, Reggie, what are you doing? <laughs> that being said, Reggie, what would you like to do? Not much! Uh, honestly, best I can do is, like, get up on my feet, try to get as close as I can, like, up to the group with everyone. I honestly don't really have anything that can help in this situation other than just struggle to say to everyone, it's that thing. That's the thing that's been talking to him. You think? If it's not, we're in a lot of trouble. Okay, you're d d definitely I, I, able to do that. Do you I, do you I, want to do anything I, else with your turn, or is that is that well, oh, uh, what you think uh, makes sense for I, your character's turn? I think that honestly makes sense for my character, and again, Absolutely. I don't really have any abilities that can help in this situation. Absolutely. 
makes perfect sense. So, Reggie, you as well, you, you kind of say that, and again, you feel this almost paralysis from just the sheer overwhelming number of emotions that you're currently feeling. Yeah. So you, you say what you can, but you are, you are paralyzed uh, from the ability to make any real choices. You are, you are just almost out of your body at this point with just how overwhelming uh, all of the experiences are for you right now. Uh, uh, Smegwick. Like, Smegwick's eyes just, like, go wide as he sees. Basically, what I'm interpreting is the bigger mommy version of the thing we killed back in that room. Kind of. Uh, like, they kind they of... shared similar qualities. I'm just seeing tentacles. That's just something yeah. like tentacles and no. Yeah. Uh, no, 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 no. <laughs> this is by uh, far, uh, other than whatever that creature was that you guys can't remember, this is by far the largest creature you've ever seen in your lifetime. Be because, because we don't remember that mm -hmm. other, that dragon thing. Even even the things that you saw <clears throat> in the Feywild, this... No, I'm talking about the, the serpent dragon yeah, thing. But I'm, I'm saying... As far as other things that Smegwick has experienced, you have seen this... Uh, Feywell itself is full of strange, oh, amazing yeah. things. This dwarfs all of them by an order of m m magnitude. Even even a certain... So okay, never mind. That's Absolutely. a side question. That's a side that, oh, God! 100%! Oh, no! that, is a, that is something that goes through your head of, wow, this... This is bigger than literally Ex anything. Extrapolating I've what I see, extrapolating mm -hmm. what I see versus, like, oh, this is bad. Yeah, it is. It is that large. I th okay. If that's the case, I am. I'm making a roll for myself. I don't normally do this, but this is 100 percent a will, a wisdom save. Well, um, so this is for me. This is for I me. I have a. Uh, yeah. I have a, like, a, a a personal. Uh, uh, thing that I'll, I'll explain here. I'm actually going to be talking about this on Saturday as well uh, during my Realms of the Wild game. Um, I, I I suffer from quite a few um, m m mental illnesses. Uh, I am disabled because of my mental illnesses um, and on disability b b because of them. Mm. Due to that and due to the prevalence of mental illnesses showing up in games, um, I do take kind of a pretty hard stance on the idea that I think is completely appropriate for mental illnesses to exist in uh, Dungeons and Dragons and everything like that. Uh, I do not think it's appropriate to have game mechanics that... On what? Uh, on, I, th I think you and I are getting our wires crossed on what I'm rolling it, it might be. I'm, I'm still going to complete my statement and then after okay. I say it I will let you decide what you want to do. Um, I'm very much against making things like wisdom saves to uh, get through a panic at the attack or, um, you know, having disadvantage because, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm currently having a PTSD flashback and it's making me feel bad. I'm perfectly fine with characters dealing with that, but I believe that should be a role play opportunity. There should not be mechanics involved in it simply because I think it kind of belittles the struggle that people with uh, mental illnesses and, and other disabilities okay. in general go through. So, if this is you trying to kind of will yourself to uh, get through what is ostensibly a very, very bad p p panic attack from experiencing something you can't handle, uh, I would prefer you didn't. But if this no, is no. something else, then go for it. No, this was him working up uh, the courage to take a shot <laughs> At okay. This thing. Absolutely. Go that's for it. what I was doing. Yeah. That's that's perfectly fine. Yeah, perfectly fine. Understand understand where you're coming from on that. My thing was like, do I do the thing at Go the for it. at the horrible thing? Uh, and yeah, so that was a, so that's the bad. Yeah, it's like, do I work up the courage for this? And, and that was a no. Okay. So yeah, as you you sit there, you you start to kind of uh, make the decision on whether or not you want to do this and. Everything your body is telling you, no, 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 don't. This, this is a, an extremely bad idea to, to, to attack him, and you decide to listen to that. I'm sh it's like, I see a whale come up out of the ocean, and I consider shooting a pea shooter at it, and I'm just like, okay. Do you shock. want to do anything else with your turn, or would you like to just kind of live in this this a feeling of oh, this is b -b bad? I just yeah, Smegwick just does not know what to do, so yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, for, for finally, Zarian, it is your to turn. 
Yeah. I believe the Expeditious Retreat lasts for like a minute, so you still yeah. have yeah. the additional speed. This <laughs> Megwitcher is only moving closer to that And <laughs> it is being concentrated on by some being you don't know. So, no concentration for you. I will move act, I will bonus action dash move there for 50 total feet. Okay. Seeing this creature, ignoring them, just blinded by the fact that uh, Lucky is about to be taken, and I'm just I just start blasting cool. with my slingshot. Cool. Go ahead and make your d attack rolls. Now, are you aiming for the creature, or are you aiming for the tentacle that has wrapped around L -L Lucky? Uh, in my blind rage, I'm just going for the biggest target, so the eye. Cool. Then yeah, make your make your d attack rolls. Um, 25 on the first, and 19 on the second. Uh, I don't. I just realized I don't have the. Uh, the stat block of this creature up. That's why would you need it? I believe <laughs> that should... Uh, I believe that should hit it, uh, but let me... I know the second will. Uh, what, uh, or the first will. What was the second one? 19 total. 19. That hits as well. Go ahead and roll your did the damage. Uh, it should be force damage. I know it's bludgeoning. Uh, whatever. Bludgeoning but it's magical. Uh, okay. 10, 15, no, 17 total from both shots. From both shots, okay. So you sit there and you just start firing at this thing as much as you can, unloading uh, on it. And as they hit, they seem to damage and the creature's gaze focuses on you. And you again get that pain behind your eyes and you see those strange vivid visions. And then you hear in your head, <laughs> Anything else you wanted to do? Uh, that was everything. Okay. Lucky, on your turn, you have this tentacle around you. You feel it lift you up. And then you feel it pull you very, very quickly. And you guys watch as this creature ah! just descends back into this ripple of nothingness. You watch as the massive building-sized tentacles take off and they actually take pieces of the island with them that kind of fall and then it vanishes and lucky is gone Luck. we're out of initiative Zarian would just go to the edge and just start firing blindly for okay. a long time so the first thing you guys notice is Zarian just goes abnormally fast. Like, you guys have noticed that Zarian is moving much faster than you think he should be able to. You have no idea where this power is coming from. But as he gets there, you see him just... And he's just firing shot after shot after shot after shot. And it's impacting nothing. Like, it's not hitting whatever it is this creature came out of. It is just going through the veil as if nothing was ever there. Or the underveil as if nothing was ever there. But... He's not stopping. We'll deal with the implications of that later. Reggie just kind of, like, falls to his knees, still kind of in shock. But then after a moment, he kind of, like, blinks as if he just notices something, and he quickly, like, turns away from everyone, as if, like, trying to hide something on his face. Okay. Any so, one else? Smegwood just kind of, like, slowly lowers his hands as... As Zarian's firing in there, because he doesn't even—he's—he does not want to move closer to whatever the hell that was on the nightmarish consequence that it, like comes back. <laughs> now, all of you, the the images that you saw, none of you can remember specifics about them, other than they were extremely upsetting. Yeah, it's like a nightmare you don't remember. Yeah. A minute passes. Zarian is now dripping with sweat. And he's not stopping. Just after half of a fire. After a very long minute, I think that's when Spitwood will start moving down. Z Zarian. And he's like, he's not going to leave the stairs. Well, technically, Arian. Zarian is, is at the edge, so he moved himself down here. 
so yeah. he can fire like, it down. Yeah, Zer he, like, Smek is not leaving the stairs. If he can help, but he's like, Zarian. I think Zarian will just be, uh... And then, like, he'll, like, I'll, I'll pause and he'll go, Zarian! He will, at this point, snap out of his blind rage, stop firing, and just stare. Okay. At this point, you feel like your arms feel like jello. Because you've been firing effectively for ten rounds straight. You're covered in sweat. He's, he's, You're he's exhausted. He's gone. I don't know what that thing was. He's gone. I'm sorry. At this point, Zazarian, you start to feel cold as the heat from the additional exertion starts to wear off and the adrenaline starts to wear off and now you are just covered in sweat and wet and you're starting to feel the kind of rapid cool off that sweat is supposed to cause. You feel a slight shiver kind of involuntarily happen. Back up a little bit and just sit down on the ground. I am going to kill every fucking person here. I just yeah. gotta sit there. Yeah, we, uh. This place shouldn't be. He just looks up and he's just like, none, none of this should. None of this is making any sense. None of this should be here. We shouldn't be here. No one should be here. I know you... Uh, I know that we barely remember anything about this place. Um, I'm gonna need you to get up. Because uh, we really are going to need to pick a fight with someone, and we need to be all together. Um. It's for you, as much as for you as it is for the rest of us. Can you, can you get up? Pal, can you, uh, we need to back up. We need to, uh, looks back up the stairs and remembering the room that we were about to go down. Like, we got you want to pick a fight? I know. I think I know a direction to go. I'll stand up, turn around, and let's fucking go. Yeah. Ellie struggles to get up. Kid. Wipes away her tears. Kid, you hey, you all right? Yeah, I kind of get the. I kind of know that feeling. Okay, so we're gonna go get ready to pick a fight. Uh, I don't think uh, any of us are ready to kick in the kick, kick in the can quit on this right now. Take a take a minute. Take a minute to breathe. I I get it. I I get it. This is a lot, but uh. This isn't an option right now. I want to stop right now, and I want to summon my friend back, but I don't think, I don't think that's an option either right now. We need to go. We gotta go. We gotta fight. At least you have the luxury, and I'll just start storming up the stairs. Okay. So as you guys could go up, um, where uh, where do you want to go? I would effectively go back up to where Gerald was because I could never command him. Okay. So, uh, I'm I'm guessing. Do you guys want to go back to the door you were at before uh, Lucky started g g going away? That's the intent of where we're gonna. If that's where we're gonna go. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so to kind of hurry things along, yeah. uh, you guys are able to 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 get back to the to the door without any issue. Um, the door itself doesn't seem locked or anything. 
and the door is much nicer than the other ones like the the ones that led to the undervale weren't nice as much as they were very functional they were very well made doors this however is made out of uh, mahogany uh, or something very similar to it uh, the door itself uh, actually has carvings of something that you can't really tell what it is but there's obviously an artistic influence on it it's a lot of line work that doesn't make a ton of sense to you guys um, and the handle itself uh, is made of, uh, of a brass and is very ornate uh, even has a, a, a few gems inlaid in it. What would you like to do? Uh, where on the map is this door? Sorry. Uh, way up here. Oh, okay. Yeah, that door right th there. Uh, I will just check to see if it's locked. Uh, no lock. doesn't even look to have a locking me mechanism on it. I will... I'm kind of not... Zarian's kind of not in his right frame of mind, so he's just going to attempt to open it without checking. Okay. So you open the door, and it opens into uh, a really elaborate room. Uh, along the walls, uh, you guys come in f f from the, 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 the east. Uh, on the opposite wall, the west, there is uh, a very, very small kind of hallway almost that has another door. Uh, and then uh, on that western wall, you can see carved into the wall uh, are these two figures. Um, very large. The room itself, uh, the ceiling is about 20 feet high. Um, much larger than the room you just came out of. And these carvings uh, that are effectively statues that are carved out of the wall itself um, are 20 feet high as well. And the creatures themselves are kind of eerily beautiful. They have kind of humanoid form, but they also have kind of an aquatic nature to, 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 to them. They're very kind of flowing and, and almost formless. Um, and then on the north and south walls, there are more carvings of what seem to be possibly the same creature or creatures from the same race uh, but it's of a uh, type of creature that you've never seen before again it's vaguely humanoid but it has some aquatic f -f features to, 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 to it uh, it seems to kind of flow almost elemental in, 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 in nature do these ones have faces uh, they do not okay so still blank faces But we can tell from the overall build structure that there's an aquatic they, sense about again, them. Again, they look uh, uh, they look almost like humanoid versions yeah. of elementals with more humanoid features than any elemental you're aware of. Uh, again, it's it's almost Genasi in its kind of blending of humanoid and elemental figure uh, features, uh, but not quite. Um, and as much as you don't see a face. Um, you don't really see a place where it would have a face. You see kind of an area that you would kind of consider a head, but again, this creature is alien enough that you can't really call it a head. So it not having a face is not quite as strange as the, the large statues you saw that were faceless, but still had heads. Hmm. Again, there's, there's an alien quality to these that just seems very b -b bizarre. Is there, like, enough time where I can, like, take out uh, a sketchbook and try to, what, a job I see? Um, go ahead and make me, um, let's call it an intelligence to, to check. Okay. To see if you can just very quickly kind of jot down what you s see here. Between my magic and my... Smegwick Sm has a background in in, in uh, Sage mm -hmm. um, because, like, he I consider he's an avid reader. Mm -hmm. um, so between his magical and his magical experience and training and building up that, and 
is there any kind of context I have about these beings, these creatures? The best, the word that comes to mind to describe them is alien. What you're looking at here is unlike any terrestrial being you know of. You've never seen anything in the Feywild like this, nothing in here, definitely nothing in the prime material plane. Even the lower planes like the Shadowfell and Elysium and Tartarus, which are heaven and hell, um, this creature would not fit anywhere. It is effectively, by definition, alien. Contextually, I have no place to insert this um, in my thing. Because of your sage of a background, you, you technically do have a place to kind of place it as far as a category, and that category is alien. Yeah, yeah. Because so. it don't fit anywhere else. Yeah. Yeah. I got but an 18 on does... my... Uh, okay, go ahead. I got an 18 on my intelligence check. Yeah, you're able to make a, a, a pretty decent rough sketch of it. Okay. Um, but yeah, m m most definitely, this is this would be very similar to the two... Uh, you know, uh, someone exploring, uh, like to give you an example, if someone was exploring ruins and found like a statue of an actual space alien uh, in modern times, that's kind of the same experience that you're having here, where again, there are things that are similar to things you know, but overall, this is just a, its own thing. Oh gosh, that's my teacher's one if we get home. So, what would you guys like to do, to do? While Owie's drawing, I'm going over to this door and just seeing if it's locked. Uh, again, not locked, but as you get close to it, you can feel kind of a buzzing sensation. You can feel some sort of power on the other side of the d -d -d door. Not connected to the door itself, but there's something powerful radiating from the other side of this to the door. All right. Uh, I'm going to back up and say, well, there's definitely something over on the other side of this door, and I'm going to be like, well... Sounds like something. I don't know. This this place is definitely... Not, this is almost nicer than the, the top side the temple had. I'll wait till everyone is... Uh, done with what they're doing, and then I will have Gerald open the door. Okay. Is That's Reggie true. with us? Uh, it took it took me a while to catch up to everyone. As <laughs> I as I lag as I lag behind, you kind of see Reggie like he's got his hand on his cheek, and he seems like uh, he needs to keep his hand there. Okay. Uh, as you come in, you see Gerald going, putting his hand on the door and twisting it. You guys see him start to open the door, and there is bright light in the room on the other side. And as the differences in lights hit oh. you, you guys all get this kind of flash <laughs> as your eyes start to adjust for a second. And that is where we are I going knew, to yeah. end it <laughs> for tonight. On the creepy room filled with light. <laughs> As always, uh, if you missed any of this, uh, I do upload all these to my YouTube channel. It's youtube.com slash Trainer Jody. Uh, I upload them on Sundays. So definitely check that out. You can actually see the entire series there. Uh, otherwise, uh, that is all for me today, and I will see you guys next time. All right. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.